whatever you say. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, old guy. Whatever, whatever you got to tell yourself. Whatever you got to tell yourself, because you know, man, that's that's what uh, that sounds like. Some uh, I'm uh, I'm in 2024 talk right there. Me is scared. What? If no, you scared, as they say, as you say, if you scared, say you scared. If you say, right. if you scared, right. say you scared. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Because you know, your young people, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all live in that realm. Live in what realm? Scared. Scared. I'm scared. Oh, okay. I can't handle pressure. Mm-hmm. I'm in a different realm. You know, I, I'm. Relax. I see the world. Right, 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 right. And I'm here to right. guide. Because the minute, because the minute some technology comes out, boy, you are you are in a downward spiral. The moment some technology comes out, the downward spiral in shambles. That's why. That's why we invest in the youth. Oh, but wait, wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said that we're scared, though. <laughs> so we can't be. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of so it. So you're not scared of it? So you mean to tell me if a new if a new app comes out? I'm not scared of it. I just yes, you are. a lot of times I just don't feel like I need to give any more effort than what I already have. You're scared. That's fine. You that's fine. That's that's a that's a fancy way of saying you're scared, but I understand. Uh, <laughs> that's a fancy way of saying no. it. It's okay. Everybody's scared of something. Everybody's scared of something. I'm scared of yep. I'm scared of the youth. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think you're able to put in what we put in uh-huh. for the people ahead of us. And I'm scared that y'all don't want to step aside when we try to show you, you know, something different. It's two way street. Like what? Uh, just new ideas, you know, they're just different things in general. Like, mm-hmm. okay. You know, because like you're doing that. Oh, you think you know everything, but it's like, hey, this may be a little bit easier way of going about it. But oh no, I mean, we're back in back in our way. We just rolled up our sleeves and X, Y, and Z. It's like okay, okay. okay. Instead of talking about it, hmm? instead of talking about it, we got it done. No, no, no. That's what. I'm, no, that's what I'm not talking. That's what. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, instead of you communicating with us about how to get done, you just brush aside. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. We already discussed this, so that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying it's a, it's a two it's a two way street because you're talking about you concerned about us, and I'm like, there's some of us that are concerned about y'all because y'all don't know how to get out of your own way. Well, if if we move out the way, you know where we're gonna end up. You might end up somewhere great. You just don't know because you won't get out the way. You can sit there and look at the clouds and everything yeah, like that. I'm just saying. How, how, how did you get? It? How how do you think we got here as a civilization? Because people people push forward, right? That's right. Okay, so if you don't get out the way and try to you know let people see what they can do, you just end up running in circles, right? I'm not saying you, uh, not saying across the board. I'm not saying across the board. I'm just saying in certain situations. I'm just concerned that y'all y'all are just you just. You're not hearing it, in a sense. You're not here. Maybe we're not hearing it. It's because the source where we hear where it's coming from, and yeah, but the source may be may be in your same field, but maybe just not as many years because you have 20, 20, 30 years on them. So of course they're not. Gonna, but it may be it may be a different perspective on seeing something. I'm just saying, there, there's been times. No, no. There's nothing wrong with a different perspective. Mm-hmm. But where is it coming from? From some, and, like... And you always got to look at the source. Mm-hmm. Just, just like just like a topic I, I want to talk about today is like, you see people weaponizing words and things to defame or hurt somebody because the, the guiding principle with the youth and even some adults now my age and older is social media and they feel that they can say whatever they want to say about a person and then that 
dictates who that person is, and then that person has to defend themselves. So, in a sense, you could be guilty of something bef- and not be true. Mm-hmm. Because somebody put it out there on social media. And mm-hmm. that's why I said, get the information from your generation and mm-hmm. the social media generation is not something I want to base my future on or a foundation on to say that we're going to be sustained, you know, uh, we're going to stand on a solid ground because it goes with the wind. Whatever's in, whatever's the thing at that moment, that's what everybody's going to do. That's what, so it's, it's, it's not stable. Mm -hmm. They have weaponized the word gay to a point where, okay, if my relationship doesn't work, that person's gay. Male or female. And and you see it. You see it with the celebrities. Um, I just heard something. I'm not saying that she said it, but dealing with Common and saying that he was gay. And that's why their relationship didn't work and things like that. So it's 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 using social media as a weapon and using the word gay along with it as the bullet. So here here's Here's my thing on that. I don't think it's, I think it's being weaponized against a certain, certain group, certain group. It's not across the board because I, I don't hear that except for, let's just call a spade a spade. I only hear it when it's used against black men in the community that, that that's it. I don't hear it anywhere else. I, I don't hear, I don't hear it anywhere else. That's the only time I hear it. And that, that... Well, I did hear about Brad, Brad Pitt. I heard somebody right, but to it. how? How okay? Let's let's. If we had a, not even a sound meter. If we had a just a way to measure the sound, right? Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, right here, right. That that'd be the meter. Oh, mm-hmm. comment, Kanye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, any yeah. other? Any yeah. other? Yeah. Any? <laughs> Any other, any other male African American celebrity? Just it, it's just a it's a huge contrast. It doesn't it, like okay, well whatever. It's Brad Pitt. I mean, and that's all people gonna say. It's right, Brad right. Pitt, it, it, and, and that's all I ever heard of it. You know, just that one little thing I've heard that put out there. I'm not saying it, it doesn't even have to be true. Right. It, it's just something out there to poke, you know, jab at that person, um, discredit that person. And and even that community, the people who are true to themselves and saying, this is who I am or whatever, they should be offended by that. They should be upset about that because they're using something that they have embraced in their own lives as a weapon against somebody who possibly might not be that way. Wait, are you saying the person that is being labeled as that should should be upset? No, no, I'm talking about people who embrace that in their lives. And okay, who uh, they are. Okay, should be upset about people using it as a weapon to defame or discredit someone. I mean, here, okay. So this is a long. This is. This goes back, I'm sure, to your early days of the 1890s. The word has been used since the dawn of time, right? And people have said right. that in communities to each other. Do look, I'm just gonna. I'm. Well, look at this platform. No, man. no, hold on. Let me, let me, let me cook. Let me cook. Okay. okay. People have said it to each okay. other. Like, if you're an athlete, you guys are boys being boys, right? Like, you're saying it to each other, and now. It's being looked at, oh, well, now I feel some kind of way about it. Whereas, you know, the, the, it was the intent behind it. It's like, okay, whatever. Like, we didn't, nobody really thought about it. It's like, hey, that's my, that's my friend, whatever. We're just joking around or whatever. Now, if you said it to somebody that you didn't know, of course, you're not going to know how they're feeling because a lot of times, like, it, it's been a drastic change because a lot of people in the, like, early 90s, early 2000s, you didn't have... You didn't know a whole lot of people that were, you know, gay or lesbian, anything like that. And so when you're throwing around those words, they they didn't have any weight or nobody knew that they had weight to somebody. 
for the most part. And now as time has progressed and people are starting to acknowledge that and we have more people, you know, coming out and you know, talking about how they feel. Yeah, I can understand where, where, they're, where you're saying about it being weaponized now, but it's just like, I think that's just coming with the times as more people are starting to acknowledge their, what what's the word? Um, I, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for right now, but. Mm-hmm. Acknowledging the fact that they, you know, like people of the they're, same sex. Their truth, their yeah. truth, right? Their truth, whatever that might be, wherever right. that might be, they're, they're recognizing their truth. Because I mean, anybody, if you say that, I mean, you can, you probably haven't said it, but I, I know there's a majority of people, athletes, like friends behind closed doors. You cannot tell me that you didn't say that to your friend, like in a joking manner or something like that, any kind of way. Like, <laughs> see, because you, <laughs> it's like, because you'd be like, man, that is, that is, that. Is. Well, well, you, you, you give them a side eye if they do something that. Exactly. And then you're like, you're like, man, that, right. you like, man, that, that's, that's whack or, or gay or whatever you want to say. So it's like, it's, it's been said before. It's just, like you said, with more people that are coming out and, you know, feeling how they feel people are feeling some way about the word now i i like i said i really didn't see because i mean me growing up in the 90s like that wasn't really that wasn't really a thing like there was worse stuff that was said you know but that word that word in general it was just like it was like eh, okay whatever it was like you know like when you i don't know it's it's just really it's one of those words it was just you think about it you in the 90s right about when I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it was definitely something that it wasn't even something that you would even probably say mm-hmm. to somebody. It was more of, if you say something about my mother, you know, your mother. If you said your mama, mm-hmm. your mama, you know, somebody said something, that's fine. That's right. Fine. So think about going to somebody's sexuality mm-hmm. and, and questioning that. It's definitely, you know, it means to uh, you better be ready. You better mm-hmm. be ready. Um, I know. I don't know in the nineties in your era when you were growing up. I don't know how. What was the trigger phrase or something somebody could say to you? It was. It say, was hey, the more. It was the more life. like derogatory word for like a homosexual or okay. like things like that. Like it was those actual slurs, like you know, like oh, the the yeah, the hard, the hard R, the those words were fighting words. Those were the words that you know. But when you said like gay, it's just like oh, okay, like whatever, like nobody really right, you know. And but think about it, and you made a very good point. Mm-hmm. How how is it in our community? It's such a high level of that being, I guess, directed to people, especially people who pretty much have done, been successful Mm -hmm. in industry and stuff like that. Why, why is that a target? And and I'm seeing that, you know, I didn't really think about it until you said it, that you, you, you look at the people especially in the industry, in uh, the media and, and stars and stuff, we're here and you might have them down here, any mm. other nationality down here. Mm. Why is it such a high level and it's a target and, and we feed off of it? Like It's like everybody well, feeds on it. It goes to that, that crabs in a barrel thing that we talked about you know, previously in other podcasts. Everybody wants to be on the same level as somebody that may be of a higher position than them. So they'll use the weaponize the words to bring them down. Cause that, I think that's what that and wearing the dress are probably the two most common things to try and like break a male, uh, African-American males, like slander in their, you know, their, their, per, their preference or whatever, or, and then, and then trying to answer question. Yeah. So that's like one of those, I, I don't know where that stems from in, you know, history, uh, as far as that word, what, how, how it has that kind of impact on, you know, uh, uh, black male. Yeah. But 
I know I I've known over the years that that's been the word to weaponize against you know black men is to say that because then you know you're because if you're in that position of if you're in that social status that it just changes everybody's look you know that's around you in your immediate proximity it's like oh is he really you know this that so he had a dress on he wore a dress in that movie right is he really that way Um, right and and why would you I, I, i just i don't quite understand why you compromise yourself in that way but i guess you know you got to make a living this is how you make a living mm-hmm. you play different roles you play different characters but it shouldn't be used to now now the industry is done with you you had a bad relationship you uh, uh somebody's feelings was hurt or something like that now oh you're gay so mm-hmm. now that should be something to discredit all the hard work you've done, everything. It's just, a, it, it, then you look at somebody else, it's just a preference. It's a, it's a sexual preference. It's a decision. It's a, it's their life. They, their, their truth. Mm. But you want to hold, hold it on somebody else as something to bring them down. Right. That, you know that's not right, and we and like you pointed out, it's big in our community. We do it to each other. We spread it. We nurture it. We add fuel to it. Mm. One person say it, then somebody else is going to say it, and and with social media and everything we got out here, there's no telling. You can't mm. take it back. It's out there. It's and done. I think. I think now that more people are getting I wouldn't even say comfortable I guess used to there being more people that are that you know have their preferences and everything because like I said back in your early days my early days we we didn't we there was no awareness for it let's just say it like that they didn't there was no awareness for it there was no classes like oh you may have people that are of this you know, that, you know, that have preferences for these people. If they did do it, it was behind closed doors. Because I know the military was a big one for that for the longest time. Like military. (laughs) Right. In military. So it's it's just those things that I think now that the times are changing and people, you know, are out in the open and public about it, we're starting to become used to not saying that word as much. Um, compared to how it was, you know, 30 years ago. I'll just even say 30, you know, 30, 30, 30, 40 years ago. So I think over time, it'll, it won't be weaponized as much, but it's still, it's still going to be a problem in our community because a lot of us were raised without in, in any of that, um, I guess, teaching about, you know, there actually being people that could be, you know, gay or something like that in our community because we're always taught to, you know, stand two feet, do, stand on business, and you know, you have to, you have to like women, this, that, and the third. As a, as a guy, you know, you, you like, you, no, you like, you like women. You don't like, a, you know, you don't like, you don't like boys and things like that. And as time goes on, now people, I think, are starting to ask their children. Well, ask them as they get older, not necessarily when they're kids, because when they're kids, they're still, you know, they still, they're kids. I guess what well, as they well, these days, they're I, I, they're, I, yeah, I know these days, but, know but so. I, I, I would say more so like when they're teenagers, like preteen teenagers. That I guess that's when you would probably get a feel for you know if you how your kids feeling about certain things and things like that, and then and then that's when you would you know teach them. And I think at that point in time, that helps them. As they get older, it it takes away the weight of that word. So maybe in a couple more generations, it won't be as bad in our community. I don't know. I can't really tell. I mean, it just, I mean. Yeah, it's getting worse now. Yeah. Um, where 
I mean, if it was the, if it was the other word, I could understand it. You know, like what right. the, the f bomb, I guess would be. It, yeah, if if the, it was that word, I get it. But it's just like I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. At one time, one time, gay was a bad word. Right. And then I heard that it was okay. Right. To say it with all these pronouns and everything now. So, with that being said, it's okay. How, whoever, however you want to use it. But like that F, the F one is, I think, across the board. Yeah. That, that's just fighting words. Right. But it's all okay across the board. But why? Would you use it? Why would someone use it as a weapon against someone who's not? That that's where mm -hmm. the issue is. So now, if I call you that, I am wanting a response. I want yeah, a negative helped. response to that, against that person. I was well, I was about to say they're looking for a reaction. That's what they're wanting. Because the moment you react, then it may give that person some validity of what they're saying. So if they're saying you're gay, you'd be like, no, I'm not gay, bro. Then like, oh, is he oh, why is he defending so hard? You, so it's right, so it's right. just like you can't win. You can't win, but it's just better if you just don't acknowledge it. Do it. That's right. Don't acknowledge it, but why do it? Right. Why well, I mean, the person, it? the person may not have anything else better to do. You know how these people are. People are weird, so they may not have anything else better to do. They may not have anything else going on for them, or somebody he may have slighted them, and he's trying to, you know. There, we don't know. We don't know all the particulars of why somebody does it. There's people that you know aren't in the best mental state at times when they're saying these things. There's some people that emotional state there's people that have also may have been slighted by that person and they you know the rest of us don't know the history behind it so that person's saying something to get a reaction out of them and then all the next thing you know two months down the road they there's a settlement agreement you know outside of court or something that's true that's true that's true that's true, that's true. but our community it, it's it, i mean you made a very valid point it, it's it's bad mm -hmm. it, it's horrible and and it's not like it's you you protect it from that stigma. Right. You know, if somebody feels like they want to put it on you, they put it on you. Right. It doesn't matter. You know, if it's true or not, it is I'm gonna say it because I can. And they'll do it on a platform where millions and thousands of people can hear it. Right. Before as you know, maybe ten people heard it. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, because you didn't have that mass form of communication, like you had to put it in the paper where it took, you know, seven to 10 days for it to reach. To, to... Read. <laughs> Everyone didn't read the papers. Exactly. So, so now that you have this this form of mass communication and the Internet sleuths, because the Internet is always is always going to win. So the minute you put it out there, they, they are on it. They will research it and be like, here's the facts, <laughs> you know, or somebody will do it. Somebody's always out there just waiting to look up the, the actual truth. Uh, or somebody's truth. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, I've seen a lot more people, you know, finding the facts, but I guess it depends on who it is or where it's coming from. So, but no, that that's what, because when I heard about, you know, a couple people who I had no idea mm -hmm. that they would be, they've been in many relationships and then this word is being used in reference to them i'm not saying if it's true or false i i don't know i don't care right but what i'm saying is why would somebody do that unless they're trying to discredit this person or damage this person in some kind of way right and if you're doing it for that purpose then you're weaponizing something that shouldn't be weaponized. What I'm saying is if you disagree with this person, you don't like this person, this person is a sorry, no good, whatever, call them that. Right. But don't make something up well, that you 
to discredit them. And it, if it's true, so what? When you got a society that's saying you got to embrace it, mm -hmm. what? I mean, why even use it? A lot of times now, from what I've from what I've seen on the sidelines, because I I refuse to be <laughs> to be out there. Mm -mm, no, it's too much of a headache. From what I've seen, just you know, just reading and just listening. Listening is the best thing to do. A lot of people are more sensitive to what people do. And a lot of times that's why you get those you know, accusations and things like that. Because maybe they didn't, you know, say the right thing to that person. Like I said, there, there's a lot of reasons behind it. But I've noticed that a lot of times it's because they felt some kind of way. And felt slighted. Oh, they didn't. They portrayed this character wrong in, in this movie, or you know, they, their own head. Their own head cannon was messed up, in a sense. How they pictured, you know, this person to be, but you know, it wasn't. It wasn't to the T, the nth degree detail. So that's just what I've noticed. It's just a lot of times people talking out, as we like to say, the side of their neck. Because of you know they they felt some kind of way, and and should people pay for that because they feel some kind of way? Just just get over. We gotta grow up. We gotta grow up and understand that. Look, if you're gonna accept it on one end, mm -hmm. don't use it as something to destroy somebody on the other end. But then that plays into that whole. This whole thing that's been going on now, it, it's the, well, not really the, the, what was, what was it, the, what was that old saying? I'm rubber, you're glue. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. That old saying? Oh, it's yeah, just, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but it does stick now. It does stick now, though. Right. It but, but what I'm saying is, it's just like it, a lot of people. A lot of people are saying it's the intent behind it, and a lot of times it's just words. They're not physically harming you, so why are you going to let that get you upset? Now I know that doesn't apply to everybody. That does not apply to everybody because everybody may not have thick skin or you know whatever the case may be. But it it kind of teeters in that that category, so it's kind of hard to navigate how you go about it. Cause I mean, I hear you, I hear what you're saying about the, you know, if, if that's the word that they use for, you know, they're I'm not saying that it's that community per se, but if that's a word that's accepted in that community, why is it being used to weaponize? But at the same time, I'm like, if the person that is being used against it, and like, if I'm a millionaire and somebody says something about me, why I'm just going to cry and wipe, I'm going to cry and wipe my, wipe my eyes with, with my dollar bills and go about my day. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to sweat something like that. So I just think I just find it weird that they aim it towards select, you know, high profile people. Right? That's a, that's the part that find, I find awkward about it. I mean, sometimes there may be truth behind it. Yeah, yeah it might be some truth. It might be true. I, mm. But why? Why? I, I mean, why are you and, and the thing about it? It's not about what you're saying. It's you got kids, you got family, mm -hmm. you got people out here that know you and respect you, and you gonna put that into question because somebody you had a disagreement with somebody, or they didn't like the fact you didn't help them out, or you didn't give them, you know, in their career or whatever. Which you know, you say you just wipe your tears with your dollar bills, but your kids generations after you're gone is going to see this stuff this stuff doesn't and i away. would hope and i would hope they still wiping their teeth wiping wiping the tear if they had any tears i'm hoping they're still wiping it with the dollar bills with the videos i left them right? exactly it's like but but it, it, for someone and and i'm i'm in that category i'm not a millionaire or anything like that but I, I tried. I, my name means a lot to me. My my name means a lot to me, and right. I, and I don't want that tarnished by because somebody I hurt somebody's feelings willingly or unwilling. I, I did something 
that offended somebody, mm-hmm. and now they want to tarnish my name because they didn't like it. But here, here, I didn't, and I don't usually go around trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but could have possibly you could hurt somebody's feelings without knowing. Right, and you can't, you can't, you cannot please everybody. There's, it's, it's literally impossible. So there's going to be people that are feeling some kind of way, and it's just like as long as you're doing what you need to do and you're doing the right thing you don't have anything to worry about because people will always gravitate to you or back you up if like he doesn't do anything to me why why are you saying that you you there they have been more many a case where people will come in come to bat for the person that's being accused and be like what are you talking about he was he was with me or whatever the case may be or he, that's not who he is he did this that and the third the internet sleuths will all like like I said, they will always find a way to figure it out. Or you'll have people that are around you that know you. So I mean, you just you can't tiptoe around it. Be trying to be like, oh, I hope I didn't. You just gotta do what you're supposed to do. No, no, no. You gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Do what you're supposed to do, and, and and just you know, just be a decent human being. That's it. Just be a decent human being. You won't have an issue. That's it. That's it. That's it. But but you can't help. If you're living, if mm. you're breathing, you interact with people, you're not going to, like you said, you're not going to make everybody happy. It's just impossible. It, you can't do it. If if you can walk on water and and heal the sick and all that, somebody will find something to be upset about. Or wrong. That's right. Why wasn't That's I the first right. one? Why, would I, why wasn't I the first one to be healed? You got here too late. You didn't run across the water. You walked. You took your time walking across the water. Right. The kid over here, if you'd have ran across the water, you would have got here in time. Right. It's it's always something. But what I just, you know, I saw that being pointed out to two new people who I didn't have a clue that that could even be a possibility that they were. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, are they using this stuff? Just to, because they're upset, and it's possible, and it mm-hmm. can be true. It doesn't to me. It, it shouldn't even matter, right? You got out of that relation, got out of that situation. Get out of it. Walk away. Enjoy. You didn't get caught up in anything. Great, but to sit there and say, "Well, okay, I'm going to tarnish his name, his or her name." And then I'll move on. I, I just don't think it's right. And I just think let's be let's stop being acting like kids and start handling situation like adults and saying, I disagree with you, I don't like you, or I didn't appreciate this, and walk away and say, let it be be done with it. But no, we gotta we gotta get on social media, we gotta tarnish the other person's name, and especially in our our community that Hey, you you tarnish the person's name, you put something out there, and then everybody else falls in line. Everybody else adds to it, everything. You notice when somebody says something about somebody, just questions one particular thing, especially in the celebrity world. Anybody who wants to go in that realm and be a celebrity, be ready. Be ready because whatever you dirt. And stuff you got out there, it's going to be exposed. Mm-hmm. Be ready for it. Be ready. And one person says something, next thing you know, five more people got something to say. Five more people got something to say, there's 10. And the number just keeps increasing and increasing. Everybody falls in line. Before that, you didn't hear anything about it. Right. It just takes one. And that's it. That ball starts rolling. It, it, it's just, it's just like you said, crabs in a barrel, and everybody needs somebody it, clout chasing. Let me put it like that. Yeah, clout chasing. It, that's usually what it is. Because when before, that was a lot of that before Twitter became X, and then they made it a. Uh, paid blue check mark because everybody was trying to chase that blue check mark for verification like oh i'm verified so that means you got to trust you got to trust me in everything i say or whatever 
So now that everybody has a blue check mark, it's kind of like, well, you can't. I'll just wait and see. We do the wait and see approach. Wait and see. We That's do right. the wait and see That's approach. Right. Did this really happen? Okay, I'll give it a week. If I don't hear anything else, then. <laughs> That's, and, and, and the topics we talk about are things that happen in society. It's just reality, reality based, not something dealing with a particular person or a particular thing. You know, it's about what's going on in society today. Because I'm trying to guide the young people who want the old people to move out the way in the right direction and give them the tools they need to make good decisions. Look, I'm not saying you got to move out the way immediately. All I'm saying is, and we talked about this, because I'm not going to let you sit there and, and just say that. Just listen. That's all I'm saying. Don't. Just listen. <laughs> We'll listen. We we'll listen when y'all have something to say. We we'll listen. Well, no, we have something to say all the time. Y'all just don't want to hear us because you just you swear that we know everything, and we're just like, look, we see, we oh, see. Y'all do know everything. Y'all, oh, no. y'all swear we know everything, but we're just trying to be like, hey, this may be an easier way to do it, or this is my perspective. Maybe you can use it to your advantage. Oh no, I don't listen to that. No, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh wait. Five years down the road, oh, I should have listened to him. He blew his his, his market. He he made this product, and now it blew up in my face. And he's a direct competitor. Oh no! Listen, you thought I'm going to listen to someone who? Well, no, no, we do we do need to listen more. We do, and all jokes aside, we do need to listen more to each other, mm -hmm. each other, and the youth thinks they know it they got it and you don't it's a lot you don't have and it's a lot that we can learn from you because the you know, I, because I the the, the game mindset. the game board has yeah. changed the game may still be, be the same like y'all like to say but the game board has changed pieces still may be the same right. but the game board has changed and we're we're on the new game board y'all y'all put up that little Pull up the put up the little that little chessboard. We playing backgammon now. We got the backgammon piece out. <laughs> but, but the thing about our game and our board is we know how to play it. I mean that's and that's fine. The board the board the board is different in your era, but we still know the game. That's fine. But the board is still different, so you, you may be trying to apply something that may not work necessarily with that board. That's why we need to work together. That's why we need to work together. And the transition should be generational. Um, it shouldn't be automatic. You know, you, you think somebody 20 years old should be running the, no. the president of the United States? No. no. No, different mindset, totally different. So it, it's 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 a progression. We're getting there. Um, the the numbers are dwindling of prospects of the youth. You know, under me, I I, I don't know. Uh, there's don't still know. there there's still uh, there's a lot of us in, in my age bracket that yeah, I, I, I hope so. There's a lot of us in my age bracket that are ready to take the mantle, and like I said, it's the ones that are okay. behind us that you should be concerned about. The ones that are behind <laughs> the next two you should be concerned. Then no, the next two <laughs> y'all should be concerned about. Those are your grandbabies, right? <laughs> Those are your grandkids. Yeah, that's right. Impart that wisdom on them. Y'all taught us. We we have the direct we have the direct connection because y'all taught us. So now you need to take that wisdom and teach them. Right, you got to share it though. You that's why we're giving it to you. You you're the holders. Yeah, but you're supposed to you're supposed to be the all knowing ohms. Like you should be able to tell it when we when we drop the kids off. Y'all should be sitting there teaching them. You know, we oh let me, let me see my grandkids. Are we take them over there to the house, drop them off, and what do y'all do? Y'all just spoil them. Don't say anything to them. And just give. Don't say anything. Don't say anything to them. Just give them everything they want. Okay, well that doesn't teach them anything. All right, so don't worry about it. That's that is the trend now, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Don't teach them anything. Just give them anything they want. Okay. Well, now we got to deal. Now we got to deal with that additional headache of everything we just tried to teach them. So basically, your teaching just went out the window because we tried to correct the same thing that you just gave. Them. So you you basically just put us rid of the wheel because of y'all. I, I can't deny that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Oh, we gave y'all the tools, and then we try to teach them the tools, but then we take them to y'all house to get, to spend the weekend with them, and then y'all give them everything they want, and they come back spoiled, and we wonder why what happened. Exactly. 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 But but no no we we just we just got to work together. Uh, and, and and we are, and I and I think we are. Um, we are talking about topics that a lot of people don't talk about, don't seem appealing. You know, it's not talking about somebody dying or kill. It, it's talking about why that's happening and why we think the way we think, and questioning and talking about, just having a conversation about it. And and, and that's what I want to lead to the generations behind us. You know, this conversation, look, this is the mindset back there. These young people back there didn't know anything. That old man, that old man that was talking was nothing but wisdom. That's what I want them to know. Yeah, so it's kind of like the, you know, as the will turn, so now it's your turn. Now you're that old man. Now you're that, now you're like, oh man, I'm that old man now, and now I got to deal with these kids that were like me when I was younger. Oh, so this is what it's like. Oh, so that's how it feels. <laughs> so, but no, no. Um, I, I enjoyed the top. I just, it just, I saw that on um, social media. I saw that mentioned, and I, I just wanted to address that topic. Stop weaponizing the word gay. Mm -hmm. so, just stop it. Why should they even be? You know. Oh, you know what? I'm mad at him, and he's a heterosexual. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I mean I'm sorry if somebody if somebody said that. Well, you said heterosexual. <laughs> if, if you said you said heterosexual, but I'm sorry if somebody got mad and said that, I'd laugh. That'd be pretty funny, right? So why would would you say that about somebody? This it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. That that's why I thought it was a, a good topic, something to mention to bring up. But no, no. I, but I, I'm glad you brought out the point that in our community, it is definitely used as a weapon, and it's definitely brought out more so than any other group. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that's just like I said, that's just how it was. Like you don't have these awareness. Mm -hmm. You didn't have. Well, I wasn't. I honestly didn't know that. What was it? This is Pride Month or something like that. Isn't June I Pride Month? Is it? I believe Probably. so. Probably. I don't know. Uh, back then, didn't know it was a thing. Like I'm. I'm how many people? I can probably poll and ask. I can probably poll and ask how many people knew that that was a thing like 20 years ago. Probably not a whole, not not a big percentage. But as we're becoming more aware of these things. You know, these words are starting to fall off and and hopefully not have as much meaning as you know, they may have had back then, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Years ago. Yeah, let's, let's hope. Let's hope that we, we get better in our community, especially because it's definitely something that's prominent and always brought up mm -hmm. instead of the positive is always negative, something negative. And anything, anything that's good way down here. And everybody else is up here. Anything bad, we up here mm -hmm. or negative, some negative component to it. We're up here and everybody else is down here. And we and we do it to ourselves. Yep. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I I also think that's why it plays into a fact that a lot of times some people tend to be able to do it. But as we get out of certain areas, we don't have a whole lot of us around each other. 
Like, I'll just let y'all think about that. Like, when you get out of the, just look back and be like, how many, how many people like me do I have as friends? Probably a handful, right? You don't have a whole bunch. More of them is so like other ethnicities. You have friends that are other ethnicities. But when you're in the, you're in the hood, the ghetto, whatever, all your friends are black. The minute you get out of the ghetto, that dynamic changes dramatically. Like just, just if you just look at it, just look at it and think about it. Yeah. You don't keep the status quo once you get to, once you get to certain areas. That's all I'm saying. And, and how does that person fare? What what changes their my you know mindset, their lifestyle? Mm. What happens? Look at it. The proof is in that alone. Right. So it's, it's we don't live in a bubble. We need to expand and get outside our comfort zone. Yeah. So, but all right, that's it for me, Tech. Uh, I hope you learned something today. And uh, I mean, according to you, I know everything, so I didn't have to learn anything today. So we'll just <laughs> that's so, right. Go that's ahead. Right. And, we'll go yeah. ahead and leave it at that. So I'm uh, I'm gonna use his words. Specifically, I know everything, so I didn't need to learn anything right. in this episode. Right, he didn't need to learn anything. He knows everything. But hey, I appreciate you. Um, I hope you share. You know, people share it and uh, like and put comments. Yeah, in. put comments going know, after Jay. No, no, no. They're gonna be agreeing with what I got to say. So, but no, they're gonna be maybe like they got tag knows what he's talking about. They got smart. He big smart. Oh yeah. Oh God! He's big, smart. He should he should be somewhere in office someday. That will not happen because I will never do that. <laughs> so if you don't do it, who's going to do it? Nobody wants to see you want. No, 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 no. Here, no, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want the money. I know, I know me. I I'm not the type to be talking to a whole bunch of people that are going to irritate me because I'll be quick to curse them out. <laughs> be quick to say something to him and then i'll be the one be like oh he you know he that's some kind of weight and blah 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 yeah i already know myself i can i i i i'm not quick to anger but i will not like a redundancy i guess is what annoys me the most when i keep having to do the same thing and i'm like i've already explained it to you please turn the lights on listen <laughs> Well, you got to have patience. I I, I try to have patience. patience. Young, my my patience, patience my patience with dealing with, my patience with dealing with people has shortened over the years. It's like, and I understand that about myself. That's yeah. why I would never run for like an office position. I can do behind the scenes work really well, not an issue. But mm -mm. I couldn't be I couldn't be nuanced about it. I'm straight to the point. Like, hey, look, this is what it is. Like, then you've learned. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, no. I don't. I don't sit there and take you in the circle like like other people on this podcast do. I go straight to the. I go straight line. Oh, Shortest distance is a straight line. You know, so other people want to circle the wagons. People want to. People want to circle the wagons. You know, they don't want to just be a straight line. Shortest. Shortest distance between two points. Your youth, your youth. Next week, I gotta find something to get you squared away. Next time we talk. I mean, according to your logic, there's that's not gonna be possible. So you are gonna have to do something. <laughs> I gotta come with something. Yeah. We'll see. Next next time. Yep. You be ready. I'm always ready. Be ready, young man. Oh, I'm always ready. I don't need the walker. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Later, Peace everybody. Out, everybody.